Hello yeah. YouTube, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to see you for another episode. Uh, it's been a while since uh, the holidays <laughs> actually. Uh, this is a follow-up video on a large purchase that we had made, me and my partner here, Steve, uh, from US Coin Trust. Glad to have him on board and we had our uh, good friend here, Stormy, <laughs> Stormy. So part of the deal was uh, this client um, had an agent came in with about uh, 1,200 gold pieces. And in the first video we showed about what a little over a million dollars worth of gold would look like, uh, we had to take it in from the client and exchange, acquire about 450 saints, the original deal plus the balance in uh, cash or check, uh, what have you. Uh, the deal consisted originally of 560 10 libs, 505 libs, and uh, 140 20 libs the client for some reason they lean towards owning saints plus a check uh, to go along the way so this is a follow-up video to tell you where we stand on the product not only did we fulfill the the client's needs but we were also able to move about good 75 percent of the product that we acquired from them yeah, which were left. yeah so that's what's, what's left, left basically what's left, yeah. yeah in ten dollar pieces as you can see, and in the previous video you showed, it really doesn't matter if you hold them. I mean, we're professional enough that we know how to handle the coins and the quality that these are, it doesn't make a difference to grade them or not. Mm -hmm. it just, they are what they they're are. Lightly circulated anyway. Yeah, exactly. So, so you had, and just because the people that are tuning in and they may not have seen that first video, the client, for whatever reason, didn't want liberties anymore they just wanted to convert them all into saint gaudens do yeah. you think the reason behind that was because they had so many coins that were in the ten dollar denomination the five dollar denomination since those have a little bit more premium because they're smaller pieces was it more advantageous for them to kind of consolidate those and essentially you know go for the bigger pieces which is the the saint gaudens um, um, I don't think that was the case because they did have the bigger pieces, which is the 20 libs, the earlier ones. That is true. Yeah, so I don't think that was the case. I think it was more like a personal preference and a combination of needing a little bit of money along the way because they didn't only get gold back, right. but they wanted to take also some cash out. So um, they, for some reason, they liked the saying gold and maybe it was just, uh, they fell out of love of the uh, Liberty design and they wanted the saying gold and as they, whether they look closer to the American Eagles or just wanted just like you said, larger units, that could have been also a possibility. We honestly don't know what the reason for that was. Doesn't but matter, right? It doesn't, it really, doesn't really matter what they, what they wanted. The <clears throat> no. Yeah. So, so can I ask you, 450 again, it's what they chose. Right. I know for my, because you were just talking about OCD, Steve. Um, I know <laughs> I if I was like, oh, 450 or 500, how come... They didn't spring for that was the number that worked with the deal going out and then coming back okay. in and then acquiring the cash out. The cash out that they needed that for was how some the number That's personal. just the way it worked. Just the way yeah, the that's what the number. So mm -hmm. they figured we'll take 450 and the balance will take it in a form of money. That's what it for whatever the personal needs are. And you got some slabs. Yes. Is this yep. because it's what you were in need of to get those numbers to get that 450 or did they ask for slabs? So uh, what we needed, we needed to satisfy anywhere from high end about uncirculated, which okay. is in a form of 55 AU55, new, uh, numerically speaking. And the price doesn't spring up much whether in the slab or without the slab up to 62. So um, again, it costs us a little bit more to get the last batch right. just to complete the deal and uh, deliver on a timely basis. But needless to say, it's about... 25 to maybe $50 difference oh, so between the grades. So it's very irrelevant. That's especially why. Especially when you're dealing with numbers this Right. Month, that's it just why. doesn't matter. Yeah, that's why when we say it doesn't matter, slab them or not, because they really don't spring out much in a way of, of uh, it's price. Not much spread. It's very little spread. Correct. Yeah. So just out of curiosity, Steve, what's yeah. your preference if somebody offered you a $20 lib or a St. Gaudens? I like the libs. Okay. And I guess that's a personal thing. And spaghetti? Um, I like the older libs, not the much later ones. I like them from the 50s. I like scarcer coins. I like New Orleans early ones. I like Carson Cities. 
some of the uh, Jonathan brothers, the 67S, 68Ss. I like that type of liberties. It really doesn't matter. I also like like the high relief in the Saints or some of the mm -hmm. 07, the low profile. Um, I, li I like more numismatics than anything. As far as style-wise, they're both pretty coins. So. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. What, um, and for these St. Gaudens coins, you know, is there any reason as to why somebody would want these coins over the $20 libs? Is it because they have, like, do they hold their value more? Are they more sought after? Are there few of them, fewer of those coins struck? Like, what's... You know, or is it just apples and oranges? Is this exactly, somebody like Exactly, it's apples and oranges. We're really more like a personal preference okay. to the client than uh, what makes sense and yeah, what some doesn't. Some people are afraid that they're going to, you know, uh, take the gold back like they did in 1933. Mm -hmm. They're feeling like if they had this, then it's a numismatic, a collectible type piece. Mm -hmm. That's one angle that some people might feel. But it, to be honest, yeah, I mean, if you're trading lives for 20, they're both pre 33. So, yeah, so I don't think for this client that would have been an issue. Got it. So they traded pre thirty three gold, Perfect. which is pre thirty three. Right, exactly. So after this deal is done, because I mean, essentially it is done. Okay, yeah, you've got yeah, these going done. back to the the Come client, on. and now you just have these ten dollar libs remaining of this original deal. And I know you already offered to send me some for like a gift, and that was very nice of you. I yeah. appreciate that. Yes, what? Correct. Let me. Do you th see yourselves doing any other? You know, big deals like this, because now you've just done this, you know, you've brokered this big deal moving, you know, over a million dollars in gold into another form of gold. Right. I, yeah. I can't think of anybody, you know, who's able to come up with like to be able to fulfill that transaction in 12 days. So that being said, do you think there's you know other big deals like this coming down the road? We're looking yeah. forward to it, and we hope that there is. We believe there are, um, but time will tell. Obviously, I mean, we're we're we'll take small deals, we'll take big deals, whatever comes in. It just so happen like it is. But how often, how frequent? I would tend to say that's probably not as frequent. Mm -hmm. I don't suspect yeah, that. Yeah, I don't think this is going to happen once a week. Yeah, correct. No, <laughs> hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully not. I no, think you I'm... lost a little more hair and you lost a little more weight since this I whole did, thing. Yeah, um, I got more degree also. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, you used to have a you know jet black head of hair. I right? did, I did. Um, you know, I, I think this is you know really cool, and I'm happy that you guys were able to include me and uh, document this because, like you said, Steve, it's not every day that no. you have over a million dollars of gold sitting in front of you, you know, and, you know, my wife, you know, I showed it to her and she just, she couldn't believe it. She's yeah. Like, Holy crap. And it made my stack look very, you know, insignificant. So. I think on the average person, this would make her stack look small. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we're suffering from small stacks. Right. <laughs> yeah. But, all we, go ahead. All we can say is like, even though it was an extremely tiring project, but we've really enjoyed it and we're still enjoying it that we were able to deliver. It was a test. It was a big test for both of us. And did it. we were able to do it. Yeah. Uh, very few people could tell you that they could. We were very, uh, the other issue that we had actually, we were extremely selective about the quality, specifying they have to be a nice retail. And with all fairness to, uh, to everybody, the deal that they had gotten and they had purchased originally they were considered as commercial ankh, which is like almost new, just slightly mishandled. Uh, the product that they had acquired, the, uh, it was not to the quality not really. that it was delivered. Not, not at this. all. This is a, no. nice this is a much oh, superior light, just like we long. promised them. Yeah, I mean, and you can tell all the coins that are glowing, they're brand new. I would say you'd be kind of a 70% of the product plus is a brand new saints in here that if you happen to, yeah, mint state. you know, yeah, mint yep. state, uh, yeah, uncirculated. So, um, yeah, very, very nice lot, very selective lot. And again, we're very happy to deliver this to the client and hopefully we make them very happy. I believe they'll be extremely yeah, happy. Yeah, they, they, they would be static. I mean, there's nothing itself. to complain about this lot. And again, I may not say this enough, even though I've said it enough in the video, in the uh, messages, but I do thank all the dealers and all the clients that have helped us actually fulfill this deal, a uh, shout out to them, whether yeah. they watch our channel or they don't, they, uh, everybody helped us, whether they sold us two pieces or 50 pieces, we appreciate yeah, you all. We appreciate it.
I yeah, sold so three. Effort. I sold three of the ten dollar yeah, lifts. Effort on every yeah. party. Oh, party. I was. You know? I wanted to sell a roll for you. I'm so disappointed <laughs> in myself. Yes. It's you know? Every bit helps. Again, that's um, what uh, you know. There is no I in the uh, in, in the team. We're a no team, team, correct? So well, boys. we all work together, and we've always enjoyed uh, dealing with you since. You've been with us from the beginning, Stormy. So uh, yeah, no. I, again, I, we're glad that you're part of this with us, and uh, absolutely. we can share it with you. I, I appreciate it, guys, and uh, I'm looking forward to the next one. Next call, I expect you know two million in gold. Okay, so <laughs> right, you'll see. or hopefully something <laughs> well, unusual. Yeah, million out. Yeah. Well, last time we got together to do one of these videos, you had a very uh, interesting collection that you're like, hey, why don't you put this yeah. put this on YouTube? And uh, those you things went into the deep five. Yeah, those... you, you weren't brave enough. Okay, no, okay, I'm not yeah. putting those on there. But anyway, guys, I'll see you real soon. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you, you so much again. I appreciate it, Stormy.